Good afternoon, this is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovering No More. I'm in the garage, so an innocuous place. I'm gonna go ahead and color this today. You have a most definite date. 1221 is reciprocal. It's looking in the mirror at each other. And I know exactly who wrote this, but I can't remember her name right now. This is Faithful Christianity. It gave us this Bible. I already have the title for this piece. And I can guarantee you that the red is Republican and the blue is Democrat. And that's probably all everybody needs to know about how this is developing. There is now a circle, which represents my paganism core. And if you'll notice, there is no red in the core. And it represents a triangle. Trying God, yes. It, I have listened to enough people that I trust for years to tell you that the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, the Great Spirit, even if, like, say, the ancient Indian tribes and whatnot considered it male, that's their problem. Misogyny is a problem everywhere. But the Holy Spirit, the Great Spirit, is the unseen goddess. If you don't like that, get off my stuff. I'm proud you to elect. I know exactly who I am. And I've never blasphemed the Holy Spirit at all. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want you to think deep about this. I'm sweeping up because I'm about to have to go sit on the ground and clean some greens. We're about to have a cold snot snap. And I am rearranging my art and everything, particularly painting and glitter. You have to be sensitive to other people and how you're bothering them. And so, you know, I can sweep this up. I can also bring in my Rainbow Rexair vacuum cleaner, the best vacuum cleaner in the world, except for I want a Hoover, up, I want a Hoover upright, the big guy. Um, two, I want both because of my... Um, Pain issues, and I don't think we'll ever be able to afford cleaning as a family. It's just not something we've been able to afford. I've been very thankful. At least one of my daughters has been able to afford cleaning with a full-time career, so that's very, very thankful. And I'm very, very thankful for that. But I also appreciated her attitude, her love of herself. She knew what her family was going through. She knew that she knew what was what her um, love of herself because she basically said forget all the other shit I know I'm important I know I love myself and I know I need my house cleaned I am way too busy and she just budded it maybe she had to leave, let it go a time or two matter of fact the woman that cleaned her house was in the business of it and was a dear woman who I'm talking about with this Bible this Bible was given to us, and the girl I'm talking about that loves herself is my daughter, Edith Renee, uh, because she was the baby when we were given this Bible, because Curtis and I are very faithful, you name it, we've been it, elder couple. The only thing we haven't been is pastor, and my friend and I, who are very faithful people, we don't see all the sin, we just live around it and do the best we can. And uh, <clears throat> she just unconsciously said when Curtis and I had to leave the house church movement, um, my dad was struggling because he had been so rejected. And I'm not going to uncover what happened because I'm going to respect my parents, but I'll tell you this. The clonics do not appreciate people. The Christian clonics do not appreciate people. They're not the ones I'm talking about about this Bible. Okay? So... Um, the woman that was in the cultish Baptist church that I'm not going to name because that pastor like knew I was somebody. He treated me so well. And that's the hard part because he was, uh, his son was thrown in jail. And this is in Austin, Texas. I'm not going to release the church. I love the people. Uh, I, I hate with vengeance, the entity of religious control. 
vengeance is mine, I will repay, can come through the goddess as much as the God the Father. And um, you want women to forgive you for how you blaspheme them. If you don't have women forgiving you for how you blaspheme them, according to you know the unforgivable sin of the Holy Ghost, if you you know, if you don't have that, there's going to be a hell, a hell of a lot more of you burning because of your unrighteousness towards women. Uh, why don't you start to look at us as the very real, compassionate, empathetic, lovely people that we are? No. Our crime is not out of control. No, our emotions are not out of control. No, it's none of the excuses that you put on women to demoralize them. Even in the more righteous places this happens. No, it's none of that. It's none of that. Zero percent of that. Okay. So, um, hmm. Pagan Circle is me. I knew what I was doing when I painted that. That almost looks, and I can continue it, that looks like a volcano erupting. So it's going to end up that way. How I got the drips, that's, you know, stalactites and stalagmites, the frozen uh, places. Blue, Democrat. This is a glitter glue, and I added some green to it because we do have growth, y'all, in the painful parts of our lives, don't we? Okay, so... There's going to be some yellow in there above the, for the sun. There's going to be some yellow above the, um, looks like to me that that's a volcano. That The thing is, is this is upside down right now. So the volcano is going to be belching down and I can do some, some swirlies of acrylic paint for that. This was the piece that I began to mix with sand like I'm learning on TikTok. Still learning on TikTok with watercolor. Some really sweet ladies over there. I am going to have so much fun this year in my downtime, along with reading so much poetry and good stuff. Um, the triangle I've already talked about. Somebody needed to see more triangles. And so I just threw it up there. But if you'll notice, the purple, which is violet light. You go look it up. It's a mystery. I, I did the pagan circle violet light because I am misrepresented on a regular basis. So I prefer to call it, I'm just mysterious than the bullshit I've been called, let me tell you. But the point is the red is only touching the protection of the violet light in my core. I'm not allowing it in the middle and I knew exactly what I was doing. The blue is equally on the side, but if you'll notice some of the blue is you can see it coming through more with the violet light my representation. There's some violet light up in the cacophony of love. There's the triangle I'm talking about, more violet light. And if you'll notice, it is hidden. Um, I don't know how the tragedy like leader keeps himself hidden as well as he does. It's amazing, it's a miracle, okay? Here is my Christmas tree that my daughter Dorothy gave me. It is actually a pagan tree. I have anointed it as a pagan tree. This is the second or third, no, this is the third or fourth decoration of it, and this was Christmas. And I had some people in my life that helped me, that have been helping me for several years get over my distrust of the red, the color red, because of the Republicans and blood when oxygen hits it. But if you'll notice, I'm going with um, more maroons now. I do use red. I've gotten back to it in a, in a positive way. So I've, I've healed more thoroughly. Here's a tiny that I'm doing with both the sand and all of it. I'm just doing a tiny and it's turning out well. So I'm pleased with it. But I want it understood with this video as I read Revelation chapter 10 because I am doing little books. I'm not only making them, I'm reading little books. Little books of poetry are my passion. The Book of Enoch is the one that I have is a small book. It's very thin. I have put a stop to my reading of it. It is an amazing book. It is an amazing book. I'm interpreting it as I go, just like Revelation and a few other places in the New Testament and Old Testament. I can interpret them a little at a time. Um, and there's parables. So I stopped at the parables because when I do those parables, I've already seen, foreseen, that I'm going to do the parables of the Lord and color them and stuff. I've got his words in coloring them. 
I think I'm gonna have to do a whole nother blog. Uh, that this is, this piece that I read Revelation chapter 10 because of my passion for small books. And it came up again on, um, it's, I think it may be pinned on one of my two Twitter, I don't know, I may have unpinned it, but you know, the apostle John is told to go eat the little book by a huge archangel. Um, and so that's coming from that. And um, so this, this one, isn't this lovely? This was at the beginning. I, I, I just, I don't know. That just turned out. I really liked that. And um, I'm getting to like the, uh, the pink and the green, the, the sand uh, mixture. I want some sand that is more coarse, but that's good. This again, this was a new, I, ha, I got four of them that's glitter glue and you, you plop it on there and then you can do things with it. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna be seeing some more yellow here. And this is called something, because if you notice, I covered this one. I have another one of this size and it's white. These are both right. I started with black. And I have a statement to make, and it's like gravity. But this is not going on my see all of our equipment. Um, so this is not like I'm gonna go black screen for a minute to read Revelation chapter ten. And I want I want uh, I, I want respect brought back to the Word of God. I command it. So I will get a bell in a minute before I read this. Let me turn to it. Um, but the, the, this painting is called, uh, Darkness is Not Black. Darkness is colorless. If I was going to color it something, it would be red. The red when ox, your blood is blue in your body, it turns red when oxygen hits it because you bleed. Um, if you do that with burning children, there's, you know, but uh, I'm not even going to call it that. Darkness, the darkness that needs to be revealed and removed, that is raping our children, that is harming women and men, that is causing all of these discrepancies constantly. Um, it is, it is colorless. It must be overcome. And you are the faithful person, perhaps. It's, some of it is free will, some of it is not. You are perhaps the person who is going to uh, bring color to the goodness as you bring the darkness into the light. Okay. And I'm not going to define the light as only the King of Kings. Uh, in the same age, for your sake, not his. Okay. He forgives a lot. So do I. Tribes you don't like. And I just explained to you what actually the unforgivable sin is. Whether or not you want to believe me theologically is definitely none of my fucking business at this point. Excuse me, I'm going to turn nice to the bell. Here I am, and I have my hands on the bell to be very careful. I'm very careful with bells. As a matter of fact, I'm choosing to refuse to give one to someone that is younger because people are not respecting their bells. You're also not understanding that church bells have been controlling whole villages and generations for years. If you intend on being a sorceress, a witch, warlock, guru, you name it, learn to use the bells and use them only for goodness. Come with me. Darkness has no color. We must color what we redeem. And this is a new concept, like gravity. I'm not going to listen to anything else. I'm sick and tired.
of the skin color of the blush people being used for things it shouldn't be used for. Therefore, I'm a white skinned woman who's going to say, fuck it. We're going to establish a new law. And all we got to do is change the way we're thinking. And I ain't talking about millions of people. I'm talking about you and me. And we can do that one step at a time. Yes, we can. So here's the bell. <laughs> Revelation chapter 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun. So he had the face of Jesus Christ. And his feet as pillars of fire. Mm, this is most likely Jesus Christ. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his right left foot, oh, excuse me, and his left foot on the earth. It's at least a possibility, a possibility, you know, if you've seen me, if you've seen the Father, says the king, in whichever language he was talking in, and um, now we have the Godpod show, so we've got a few mysteries on this earth. Now, don't we? <clears throat> and cried with a loud voice, as when a lion roareth. Ding, ding, ding. Kara's probably accurate. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. I have no problem believing that. He did calm storms. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven. So this is not the big archangel. Okay. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. I do know the concept of not writing anymore. I also know the concept of fire, and I know the concept of destruction. Evolve, evolve, evolve. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein that there should be time no longer. Oh my. Mm. This is an interesting point of view. I would suggest that we get the idea that it's post-apocalyptic. But in the last days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if a girl, and I wouldn't be the only one, but I'm just saying, was in the hand of a certain archangel and we testify and we also removed antichrist according to the book of second john and i actually did have a little conversation with somebody today because i asked a question on my main youtube and he graciously answered it i can't remember what he said but it'll come out in the flesh i may or may not be there it was something to the effect of the one thing I'm going to continue to call men into repentance for. And it had to do with the book of 2 John because I've been pounding that poor book for years and pointed out to all of, all of religions. Only women can live in Antichrist. So we will see what we see. I'm not saying I am. I'm not the only one talking like this. I was delivered from the last of my very difficult sadness by Maya Angelou in one little bitty poetry book, one poem about Christmas. She, she delivered me. Haven't met her, haven't even watched much of her television. Holy Spirit is here, male and female, neither male nor female, because I'm reading Revelation, so it's tricky. And um, this is a tragedy to house, and that's how I can be here is because Maya Angelou is one of those little books indeed. 
her little Christmas book. I found it for less than $2 at a beautiful little place by a beautiful another place that I go really frequently. We'll be visiting constantly right there. So I'm looking forward to those days ahead. I'm looking forward to those days ahead. Okay, so I just submitted to you who actually did the deliverance of me. Her name is Maya Angelou, and she is a black woman. And if you think her skin color is darkness, you will burn in the deepest hell. You will. You wait and see. Verse 8, and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. I always wondered which angel that was. I don't question my interpretations at this point. They're up for tweaking for sure. I'm never that kind of 100% accurate, but that's the problem with religion. They're always looking for an accuracy that they never will get the leaderships. Verse 9, And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter. But it shall be in thy mouth, sweetest honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings, not my word. And we all know how it is. Okay, so this one's complete. I had no idea that that's how that video was going to turn out. There's my lovely greens that we're eating for dinner. Because it's going to get down to like 19 degrees and so some of my cactus that my neighbor gave me it has to come in so I I'll show you another thing I got my one of my pole lamps in here I need another one I'm not going to go to Goodwill they have them for great price no, this is my grow light so I'm actually thinking of leaving two earth boxes right here with grow light and just, I'm, I'm going to be opening the garage door more because you know I'm painting in here and my Christmas tree's in here it's going to be the next one's uh, colors. I don't know. I'm getting under the bed boxes and storing my tree decorations because I do intend on using them. I won't change. Once I establish them one year, I, don't, I won't change every year. I don't believe in that. Okay. There you go. Um, I love you. Enemy and friend and family. <laughs>